The mission of the Action Center is to educate not only the, the students that we come across on a daily basis, but also the parents and members of the community. We play with the gang violence out here in the Rockaways, the drugs, the, uh, the STDs, and you know, these are some of the things that as, as a staff we sit down and we talk about and you know, how we're gonna, how we're gonna attack these things. What we provide for them is first a safe haven for their child. They know that they, when their child comes here that they're gonna be well taken care of by the staff. Second, we play the role as educators because they only learn what's told to them inside of the books, but it doesn't really give them an idea of the community that surrounds them. So they don't know what's out there, you know? And um, I think that's the most sad part about it, that a lot of these kids don't get out and go other places, you know? And you got individuals, you know, because of the gang, the gang things that go here, certain individuals can't go certain places. So they're pretty much stuck in one environment and can't move. So this is what they know, and this is all that they know. Like, to be honest, there's nothing to do out here. They just need a place to go to experience different things like dance some of the stuff that we offer here like dance like my sister was she loved dance ever since she was little but there was really nowhere to go had she been in actions had there been action center when she was younger we probably she probably would have went there I think uh, with helping to better the lives of the uh, children here in the far Rockaways uh, we have to build trust uh, so a sort of trust building and uh, developing um, of one's character is very important. I know for a fact, we listen. A lot of these kids act out because they're crying out and they just want someone to listen to them. So sometimes, you know, an attitude or a rolling of the eyes means, can you please give me a hug? You can sense that something is wrong. You pull them aside, you talk to them, you ask them, you know, what's going on? Cause Sometimes they don't have that. They don't have someone to actually sit down and give them the time to voice what's going on. And that's, that's just all they need. That's where we come in as a team and we're able to help the kids problem solve and talk about the things in group discussion. Well, I've dealt with kids that, that, that did a lot of shooting around here and, and did a lot of robberies and whatever the case they did, you know, they were, they were kids that were on a, on a verge of going in the other direction. But once once I grabbed them and pulled them in and gave them some structure and helped them do the different things, you know, it, it's, it's been real successful. From the beginning of the program, you see them transform from, I would say, before coming here and then after. Because you see them open up, you see them become more well-rounded, you see them participate in sports that and activities that they never would have, part you know, would have experienced without this program. We open it up to them to know, you know, there's a whole frontier that hasn't been, ex you know, that hasn't been explored, that there's a whole big world outside of the Rockaway Peninsula. So you gotta, you gotta really reach out and show them that you really care about them. Once, once you get them at that point, then you can grab them, now you can mold them the way you want to mold them. Okay, it's getting them to that point. If I'm not making a difference in someone's life, then what am I here for? So, the attitudes, I appreciate the anger, I appreciate I appreciate everything they're giving me because when I give out my advice, my knowledge, my experiences, and they take to it, it shows that I'm actually giving back. It took a kid to get killed in his neighborhood for me to say, well, I don't want that to happen on my on my watch again. You know, I had to take this one kid and help the family put the burial, you know, help with the burial, help him with everything, put clothes on this kid, put him in the ground. And I was like, that's when I dedicated my life to working to the kids in the Rockaways. And I said, you know, I don't want that to happen again. So I've been working tirelessly to try to prevent that. I see us as, you know, a beacon. Like a cycle. You know, we start at one point and we end at the other, but it's continuous. So it keeps going and we can continue to give back and help. Well, I can tell you about kids that went on to college, went on to have good jobs. I have kids that play NFL football now. See the kids coming in here with a smile on their face 
and having a place to come where they can feel comfortable and satisfied and you know just be engaged really i know it's going to be like cliche and you know whatever but it's the best part is just to see the children happy when you go in the classroom you're like miss stephanie miss stephanie and they want to give you a hug because they're so happy that's the best part just seeing the kids happy